So it's time to start working on our Go back end. And before we can do that, there's a little bit of software we need to install. And you may already have it installed, and that's fine, but I just want to be sure. So obviously, the first thing we need is Go itself. So go to this URL, golang.org, and click on the big blue button here that says Download Go. And you're going to download the version for your operating system, so Windows or Mac or Linux. And the, the source is available. I don't encourage you to work with the source. Download one of these versions instead. It will make your life much simpler. So I'm on a Mac, so I would click on Apple Mac OS, and that would actually start the download, which I'll cancel because I already have Go installed. But download the installer and run it, and down on the page here a little bit, you can see specific instructions for each operating system. So there's Linux, there's Mac, and there's Windows. So once that's installed, and after it's installed, not before, once it's done, start up your IDE, Visual Studio Code, and you want to go to the code menu on a Mac and find preferences and look for extensions. So the first one we want is called Go. And as you can see, I have it here already. So I would choose that and I would install it. This would say install. So install that. And once it's finished, and not before it's finished, but once that extension is installed, hit Command Shift P on a Mac or uh, Control Shift P on Windows to bring up this palette and look for that. Go colon space install update tools and choose it and then click the checkbox at the top to make sure all of these are checked and click OK. Now I already have these installed so there's no need for me to install them again but wait for that to install. It will take a little while. You'll have a little pane that opens up at the bottom of your window and it'll tell you when it's done and once that's done I usually restart my IDE just to be sure that everything is working properly. And at that point, you're ready to go. So let's move on.